Welcome to Electron Online, and this is a, a simple example of how we deal with, with forces, couples, and moments. Notice that we have two pairs of forces here that are equal in magnitude in opposite directions, so therefore we have two couples. We have a 21 Newton force going this way, a 21 Newton force going this way. The distance, the perpendicular distance between the line of actions is 4 meters. Then we have a second set of forces. A force of 12 newtons going this way, a force of 12 newtons going this way, and the distance between the line of action here is unknown. We'll call it distance, and that's one of the things we're trying to find. Notice that the moments caused by these two couples is opposite in direction, so they will work against one another. On top of that, they tell us that the sum of the moments equals zero. That means it must be equal in magnitude, just opposite in direction. The 21 Newton forces cause a counterclockwise direction, that's a positive moment. The 12 Newton forces cause a clockwise direction, which is a negative moment. So when you add them together, we should get zero. They want us to find the moment of the two forces, starting with the moment one, which is by the first, for, first set of forces, and they want us to find the distance between the lines of action between the two 12 Newton forces. Well, we know that the magnitude of the moment is equal to the distance or the force times the distance between the two. So in this case, this is equal to the 21 Newton force multiplied times the 4 meter distance. So multiply that times the 4 meters, which gives us 84 Newton meters. That's the magnitude of the moment. The direction of the moment, again, the 21 Newton force causes a counterclockwise direction. So here's the moment and counterclockwise would be in this direction right here and so therefore that gives us a positive moment so this is equal to a positive 84 newton meters in the y direction okay from that we know then of course that since the sum of the moments add up to zero that means the moment caused by the 12 newton forces must be a minus 84 newtons and so let's draw that here. So from this point here, we have a negative moment. So the moment caused by the 12 Newton forces would be equal to a minus 84 Newton meters in the y direction. And we know that M2, M2 is going to be equal to 84 Newton meters. It's going to be negative, but the magnitude is positive, which is equal to the force times the distance. And in this case, the force is 12 Newtons and the distance is unknown. So therefore, we can say that 84 Newton meters divided by 12 Newtons is equal to the distance. Newtons cancels out. 12 goes into 84, looks like seven times. So D is equal to seven meters. And that was the second answer we were looking for. And so that's how we find the distance between the two 12 Newton forces. And we find the moment caused by both couples. That's how it's done.